Hi everybody, just want to do a ROM review of Android Revolution HD 22.2 on Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, basically I've just flushed this uh, certain version for about, how it's been half a day now, but I've been on this uh, ROM for what, about a week more than that. And um, first of all I'll show you that I've flushed it, as you can see there, 22.2, and it's based on Android uh, version 4.1.2. Jelly bean, so that's good stuff as well. Please note um, that this ROM was made by Mike and posted on XDA by him too. So if you do decide to flash it, then make sure you thank him and support him in any other way that you can. Um, basically, the main purpose of uh, this ROM is is just to be completely stock with a few extra tweaks and features so that it can make it more smooth and battery um, battery friendly so um, basically it's just a much more improved version of stock with less bloatware as well although obviously you can uh, install actually it's not obvious but you can install some um, applications in Aroma which is in in itself is a good feature as well you know, it just gives you that extra ease in flashing the uh, mod I and mean, flashing the apps as well. So mm, that's that. Basically, you can it comes with less bloat, which everyone likes. I mean, uh, most of the bloatware apps people don't use, so that's good. Um, let me just run down you some of the main features of this ROM. It's got um, ROM optimization, speed optimization, uh, enabled uh, G in GPU UI rendering. Basically, the um, UI should be more smooth and fast. Um, camera performance, basically, better camera for performance. Uh, that's good. That should run more smoothly as well. And um, it's also got full Arabic and Hebrew language support. Uh, is uh, zip aligned, fully deodexed. Um, excellent ba battery life, of course. Yeah, and improve external for performance. I mean, some of them you might not understand, but just know that it's just to improve um, the ROM and the speed of it. Um, I'll run down some of the um, the latest re release version 32.2. The change log basically just removed. What he's done is just removed some of the bloatware apps. So it just uh, which was a really good option and choice because a lot of these ones we don't. Um, What's it? We don't use anyway, like Music Hub, Video Hub, Learning Hub. I mean, no one uses them anyway. So yeah, it's good that he took him off, and he just updated a few more apps, and he just done a few fixes that were um, pre in, in the previous release. I think uh, version twenty two point one. I didn't experience it myself because I wasn't on it. I jumped from twenty twenty two to um, twenty two point two. So um, uh, as far as uh, I, I read on the thread that so most of the fixes were fixed as well. I mean all of them f uh, were fixed so if you thinking of flashing this ROM then uh, this would be the time because all the um, fixes are fixed. Um, it comes with stock kernel. Um, I don't know, I can't, sh sorry I haven't been showing you much. I'll try to show you something soon. Um, it basically it comes with stock kernel but it's been modded and uh, not modded, I mean it's been tweaked by a uh, was it mic so that should give you some basically uh, was it better performance and uh, basically stock kernel is basically the most safest kernel that you could use I mean sometimes I use a different kernel but to be on the safe side it's better to use um, st stock kernel and basically because it's got its own tweak so it's probably be it will probably be the best stock kernel you can ever get so uh, that's good as well um, <coughs> And another thing I want to show you is um, basically in in Aroma install um, Aroma where you can actually um, what's it when you install um, the ROM you you get an option to install this application called Cedar and what this does basically you might not understand what's going on the screen but what this does is basically r reduces lag and I've used it with and without um, the application and for me it's, uh, it works so maybe you can try it if you experience any lag. You just get it and basically it does its own job you know you just turn it on and that's about it at the moment it's going to turn off and it's on yeah so and that's about it you know you just uh, turn it so that's good you may um, you must say it reduces lag a lot <coughs> um, basically it, this is the whole thing is uh, all stock themed you know um, previously I done a I was say I done a ROM review of I think uh, 21 
and basically I had a theme on so I just done uh, this video uh, for I'll do a review of 22.2 um, without the theme so you could actually see that it's really it's basically completely stock you know everything looks stock in notifications um, even dialer you can see the dialer now you know it's got full what's it it's fully like stock how how you'd get it straight out of the box um, I want to mention another thing. Some people that they just don't like doing custom ROM, they don't like flashing custom ROMs because they think, yeah, if I get this, um, you know, if I get this certain ROM, they might leave the stock thing, uh, you know, a certain feature of a stock. So my advice for those people would be to flash this one because it's really close to stock. You know, you, you can't even kind of just like basically there's no UI changes, so you can't really even tell that you've on a custom ROM until obviously if you flashed it, then you've known. But if you just give your phone to someone, they wouldn't even realize. So that's good. Um, score. What else has it got? I could just run down. You'd like um, what's it? I'll just show you camera as well. Camera is fully uh, stock. Okay, so basically just uh, fully stock. I don't know what else to show you, but as you can see, it's fully stock. It's got the sh um, sh um, sh shutter sound as well. Um, that's about it. I'll just run down you some of the uh, mods that I had on the previous uh, versions that worked as well. Um, first off, I had a Note 2 keyboard by Arso. Um, I could link to that in the description. A 4.2 camera, which has obviously got the sphere. Um, acid audio which helps to um, what's it um that helps in audio helps uh, basically enhances the audio ink effect uh, CRT off effect and you had uh, I had Jelly Bean Domination theme but you can also get I think two or three more and uh, that's why I also have uh, Xperia Z wallpapers which I haven't showed you but basically I'll link to that in the description and I'll just show you the lock screen as well just in case you're wondering how that looks As you can see, it looks um, fully like um, stock. Links to everything uh, will be in description, and um, I would recommend everyone to uh, whoever whoever thinking about flashing a ROM. This could be your first try. If you're new to it, then this probably would be the safest one for you because it's really close to stock, uh, fast, stable. Um, since I've had it, experienced no lag, really good battery life as well. Um, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like um, and comment if you have any problems and subscribe to my channel and um, thanks for watching. See you in the